Well, this is going to be a tutorial on, on how to set up a new domain in Webmin. First, you got to have Webmin installed and all that stuff. And uh, I'll make a video on how to install it and stuff. And uh, I suggest Chunk Host. See, I got my server running. And uh, first, you want to go to your login page for your uh, webmin and you always got to have 10,000 after your your domain name login go to others file manager run run Go to var www html and then go to create a new directory. We're going to put it as let's see chant create change the permission. You can leave it as root too, but to get a uh, to get everything working right, you want to change it to your uh, user user account. So we got chant. Let's create a file. Let's go one. Or index .php. Hi. Save and close. So we know it's up and running when we get done. Let's go to Apache Web Server. And what we want to do here is to fix the problem. I don't know if it's a bug or I uh, read online that other people have the same problem uh, hosting multiple websites on one IP address. And the trick to doing that is uh, I'll show you, or else you'll get this message says uh, permission denied on server. So what you want to go to is right here, edit config files, scroll down to the default file, 000, zero, zero default. And uh, if you're using Chunk Host and you already set up a, set up a domain name for your website and you want to add a new one, all you do is got to scroll down, find the website, and you want to you want to find it where it says virtual host Jesse's list dot GA and you want to copy those settings because they don't have all the settings in there do it and then copy it and we're gonna before we save that we're gonna we're gonna register a new domain name We're going to do Jesse's chat. And you want to go to free num 
or gnome dot com pause the video real quick and uh, now once you uh, register your domain name I paused it to because I had my address and phone number and all that crap on it so I paused it and register the domain name it's pretty easy you just fill in everything and all that stuff and uh, once you get done go to management tools use your own uh, name servers and I'm using Chunko so they have it already set up where you can uh, put in the name server so you don't have to let it uh, sit so procreate throughout the web it's already they got theirs already up now what you want to do is create a A record and a C name record so we're going to put Jesse's chat dot GA add domain you're going to leave this blank I'm going to pause the video again okay and then you put in your IP address create a record create a new record C name IP address in oops forgot something put www in Okay, so that's all done. And now we want to go back to where we copied those those uh, command lines there. Yeah, I did. Uh, I did uh, <laughs> mess up. I put chant, but it's a type of script for chatting. That's what I was thinking, but I'll just use the same directory, for example. And then you want to scroll down and uh, manually change it. And make sure you got it all. Uh, change these to the file directory where you're at. Change this to the new domain name that you started. Change the server name. Save. Apply changes. And go to the URL. And 
And there you go. That's the file we made and put high in it. And you can install WordPress, uh, all that stuff, different scripts. You can make your own website. And uh, how I did this fixes the error problem. Because if you don't do it this way, it will uh, air out and say permission denied or 404 or a couple other things that will lock you out of your all your websites if you don't do it this way. So I'll make sure I uh, label the video right on YouTube. And... Uh, Yeah, I think that that'll be it. Uh, let's see. And just to promote my website, here's all the websites that I made Ubuntu Info, uh, Jesse's Book, it's like Facebook, Jesse's Videos. Uh, Jesse Underwood dot GA has uh, 30,000 hits. Jesse's list is like Craigslist. Okay, thank you. Bye.